director Igor Durlaka is known in the Toronto International Film Festival's short film category, making Kravinia his first feature film. Kravinia is the story of a displaced man living in Toronto, who after having fled during the Bosnian War, returns to his home in the former Yugoslavia to search for an old friend. Kravinia opens at the Royal Cinema in Toronto at the end of January. We had a chance to talk with Kravinia director Igor Durlaka and producer Albert Shin about their film. Uh, so the film is about an immigrant named Miro who comes from former Yugoslavia and uh, he hears about his friend who's wanted for a war of crimes and he sort of he goes on this quest to sort of look for this friend and discovers things that he didn't really sort of anticipate. And how did you both get onto the project? Uh, well, me, me and Igor have been working together for about 10 years, ever since like film school. So uh, this is a project that he's been working on for several years, and you know anything he works on, I'm always on board. And we kind of started a production company a few years ago and kind of collaborate on each other's works. So it was, yeah, it was kind of like a natural thing to to work on it and you know help out and see what we can do with it. Yeah, the writing element is was a very kind of loose, organic process. Um, so it was we had like I had like. Uh, I scripted in sections, so and then there was a lot of kind of wiggle room for interpretation and for improvisation, right? Mm -hmm. And that kind of opened up doors and ways of exploring the ideas I was trying to explore in a sort of very kind of organic way. The film is sort of has this non-linear structure, and it's it's sort of surreal and it's sort of uh, treatment of the of the of the themes and the subject. Um, there's there's if so certain people will pick up on sort of this amnesia that not only exists on the side of the character but also exists on sort of this collective plane of you know remembering or re remembering or not remembering the same w versions of the story as other people well we had a, a a great group of actors and collaborators that have worked with us on many projects so we were relying on them to kind of come back and help us out on this one. It was obviously a bigger project than our, some of our past works, which were a lot of short films and such. But uh, speaking about uh, Goran, specifically our lead actor, he was uh, he goes to Croatia every summer, and uh, the film was shot in Bosnia in the summertime. So Igor called him up and was like, "Hey, it's not far from where you are. So how about you come over and you know kind of shoot this film with us for a couple of weeks?" So and he was. It was in Toronto. We could just pick up and continue shooting with them, right? I mean, with budget, we were constrained by budget, and I had to have a working relationship with them, mm -hmm. so it just everything just kind of fit. Um, you made Bosnia look both both beautiful and and still echoing that history of, of a war torn country. Um, uh, tell me about bringing that that visual together. Um, I was kind of aware of sort of the economic restrictions that we were dealing with, so I kind of constructed. Uh, and I always wanted to sort of use this sort of haunted, uh, very kind of meticulously paced way of, of, of treating the, the landscape. And, uh, and through sound design, I added just like a little bit of rever like reverberations of sort of that, that history. Uh, but I didn't want to be sort of direct with it. I wanted to be sort of kind of contained within, within, the, uh, within the sound design so it, it's not too obvious, right? Um, also because the, the, the narrative itself is designed in such a way that like the war has obviously shaped these characters. But it's almost like the remembering or not a remembering of the war is, is sort of like uh, a problem for them. Kako ste vi? Dobro sam. Eto, ovdje se nalazim, djeti. Lijepa priroda, čist drag. A inače živim u Sarajevu. 